What's going on everyone? This is Indy here with Ultimate Tool Reviews. I wanted to just talk about Harbor Freight for a little bit. Uh, Harbor Freight, you know, I've used Harbor Freight for years and years now. And of course, they've made some changes over the years. Some, you know, that have been okay, some that have been good, some that have been bad. Just like any company, you know, Home Depot or Lowe's, they always make changes. And they might be positive, they might be negative. Uh, but let's kind of go over some of the things Harbor Freight has done over the past maybe couple of years now. And I'll kind of explain the things that I like and the things that I don't like. Um, so I'll be right up front with you guys on Harbor Freight. Um, I'm not sponsored by Harbor Freight or anything. Um, I've had them send me some free stuff in the past for review, but I haven't talked to them in quite a while now. Um, but when it comes to Harbor Freight, I don't really shop there too much anymore. I used to go there maybe like once a week, I'd say two or three years ago, um, and they always had the coupons out. And I would pick up stuff, um, you know, the free gifts, you know, use a 20% off coupon for a lot of cool stuff. And that was at a time when a lot of my hand tools, I'd say 95% plus, were all Harbor Freight hand tools. Now, a good chunk of my hand tools are still Harbor Freight, but I'd say it's more of like 50% now are going to be from Harbor Freight. And one of the big reasons for this is right up here, this Inside Track Club. Um, this is something that is a little unusual when you think of a, you know, like a club membership is basically what it is. Um, if you were to think club membership, you're probably thinking of like Sam's Club or Costco. And, you know, one of the reasons you would get one of those memberships is because you need stuff like, you know, food or household essentials from one of those club stores. However, when it comes to Harbor Freight, um... You know, I've heard some bad stuff about the Inside Track Club, like where people would go to check out and it doesn't apply the discounts to them. Um, I really don't want another credit card for Harbor Freight. I don't really see that being, you know, any reason to use that. Uh, how often would I buy a larger purchase at Harbor Freight? It's quite rare. Um, but the Inside Track Club, you know, I don't really feel like paying, you know, yearly for something where... You know, it, it's not a store where I can't go into it anytime I want, and I there's there's coupons out once in a while now. They're not all the time, um, but yeah, the Inside Track Club has never really appealed to me. Um, I, I don't like having to shop for separate coupons. You know, it just it doesn't really make sense to me. Um, it seems more like more hassle than it's worth, in my opinion. I know some people like it a lot. You know, you can if you're a really big Harbor Freight shopper, um, it's definitely well worth it to get. Um, but for me, it's really just not worth it. I've, I've basically got, in my area where I'm at, uh, my Harbor Freight is less than a half a mile from my Lowe's and Home Depot. They're kind of in like this really, really close area, so they're all really close by. And you know, I've been shopping a bit between the three for years now, and Harbor Freight's been slowly raising their pricing on a lot of stuff where it's pretty close to being in line with um, Lowe's and Home Depot, especially when they got a lot of the clearance deals happening. And you have Amazon as well, too, so it's getting harder and harder to really, you know, I would say, see Harbor Freight as the cheapest, best option anymore. So we move into some of the coupons here. Uh, I'm going to get more of the coupons in a little bit later in the video, but this is just the deals page on Harbor Freight right now. I'm going to go over this really quick here. Um, so, you know, some of the best, you know, coupon stuff is going to be from their better brands like U.S. General, Daytona. Um, Pittsburgh, it can be hit or miss on Pittsburgh stuff, but when it comes to Daytona, U.S. General, uh, those are pretty solid brands. Um, you know, if I'm going to buy a new Jack, I'm going to buy a Daytona. <laughs> That's pretty easy. Um, they're fantastic deals, and they're really, really well reviewed by pretty much every reviewer that I've seen on those. Um, I've got a Jack. I don't really use it too much, but, you know, it's a, it's a really cool tool to have, and if you know um, where to buy a good one, like Harbor Freight, it's great to see a coupon on that. U.S. General, I do own a U.S. General. I think I have a Gen 1 box. Um, it's an upper and lower. Um, phenomenal, actually. I would say U.S. General is the best toolbox I currently own. Easily beats Craftsman and Cobalt, um, without a doubt. Yeah, they are a little bit more pricey, depending on what you're looking for. Um, but not too much more pricey. Uh, but they are absolutely fantastic. And, of course, you know, Harbor Freight is great for some of the odds and ends, like moving blankets, uh, mechanic sets. Uh, mechanic sets, you know, I I will say I do prefer almost any other brand other than buying the Pittsburgh stuff in bulk. Um, Pittsburgh stuff, I like their sockets and ratchets. Everything else they kind of make is just kind of so-so. So let's move into some more of the stuff here. We've got, you know, a few other coupons here for some other random stuff. Um, their clearance at times, 
I'll put it this way. When it comes to a lot of the Harbor Freight, you know, looking at the, the sale here, we're looking at clearance, um, it really summarizes it great here. I mean, look at this. Save 2%. It, it's almost laughable when you see some of these deals. Save 5%. What is that, like $3? Some of this clearance stuff is just really silly. Um, I've only ever bought in one item on clearance. I bought some Icon sockets, and they were like 10 bucks off. It wasn't anything crazy when it comes to clearance. Um, and the big problem with Harbor Freight and why you don't see them a lot mentioned on channels like mine, other reviewers, is because it's kind of like the story of the boy who cried wolf. If you're always like, I'm on sale, I'm on sale, you know, 365 days a year, well, if you're on sale all the time, that means you're on sale none of the time. And that is unfortunately true of Harbor Freight. Um, I never know when to go to Harbor Freight for a good deal. You don't really hear anybody talking about the Black Friday deals. I know I covered it, but if you watch that video of me going through the store, I really didn't find anything that was like, whoa, you got to check this out. Where if you see Home Depot go on, go on the holiday deals, it's, you know, I'm spending money there. There is going to be some great deals on tools that I want to buy for the next year, and I know they're a good value. Um, Harbor Freight's problem is, you know, everything is always on sale. You're always going to see a save this amount of money. You're always going to see some other item or some other price crossed out to this, you know, price point. So it's really hard to tell whenever actually something is actually a good deal at Harbor Freight. And the only way to really find out is you're, you're never really looking at, you know, okay, so I'm going to look at this laser thermometer here, and it's been, say, $25 at Harbor Freight for the last six months, and now it actually is on sale. Well, I don't know that. I don't really have any way to tell. Um, for one, I can only buy that brand at Harbor Freight. Um, second, it's always on sale is <laughs> the problem. They always have something where it's like, hey, it's 20% off, or hey, it's $5 off you never can really track the current price of an item over a certain amount of time for Harbor Freight. So I don't know if the item is actually a really good deal right now, or I don't know if it's at the current, you know, retail price. I have no idea. And that's pretty much true for almost every tool reviewer on YouTube is it's not really easy to check this stuff on Harbor Freight. And you never really know. You kind of go to Harbor Freight when you're like, Hey, I might need a couple of these, you know, cheap tools and Oh, I might grab that while I'm out there too. So it's not really like I'm going there to buy that item because it's on sale today. And that's kind of the story of Harbor Freight there. Um, you know, same thing with Inside Track Club. Um, some of these deals are actually pretty good. They actually are comparable because you can't get a 189 deal on that Forge or Tech card right now unless you have the Inside Track Club. The problem with Inside Track Club is if I'm going to Sam's Club or Costco, kind of like I explained before, and say, you know, I'm going to pick up um, some spinach and some burgers while I'm there. You know, I'm, I'm going to need spinach and burgers maybe the next month and the next month too. You know, it's a consumable item. Where a lot of these items, like, how often am I going to need a new um, Forge or U.S. Journal tech cart? Um, you know, I mean, I've had toolboxes last me 10 years, no problem. So it's not something I'm going to need all the time. Um, I don't need to take advantage of that deal. How often am I going to need a new wrench set? especially the, the Pittsburgh wrench sets. Yeah, I'm going to save 10 bucks here, but I don't need to buy that wrench set every month. <laughs> so that's kind of my take on the Inside Track Club is, yeah, it's it's good deals, but it only makes sense you're maybe buying one large right in that year where you can save that membership price when you buy all of those tools. So now here actually is you know a, a counter argument to my point of not being able to find good deals at Harbor Freight. Um, I actually saw this deal pop up um, on another YouTuber's channel. I just want to mention this as well. Um, it's about some of these Bauer kits right now. Um, we can actually find some great deals on Bauer. I'm going to pull that up as well too. And the Hercules kit here. Um, so we've actually got some deals happening here where they're finally kind of offering a similar deal to competitors here now. Where, of course, you can pick up, you know, one of these kits for 69 bucks, 79 bucks, and you can get a free battery with it, which is actually not a bad deal when you really think about it uh, with an impact driver kit. And these are unfortunately not brushless, so be aware of that. Uh, but they do have a hammer drill kit, impact kit, and drill driver kit. Now, the big problem with a lot of the Harbor Freight power tools, and, you know, they, they seem kind of interesting on the surface, but... Honestly, there's two reasons why I really don't buy these tools or cover them. Uh, the first reason is, is yeah, this is 70 bucks here, before tax, of course. You're going to get this free battery. Now, 
how much is the warranty on this tool? I really don't have a way to check. Maybe I can put this in my cart and check out online. Um, you do get a, I think it's, uh, is it a 90 day warranty? Um, just for free, but to buy anything longer, you got to pay another probably 30 bucks or so, 20 bucks. I don't know. Um, so yeah, for that price, you know, you're getting two 1.5 amp hour batteries and a brush drill that puts you right in line with say like a Milwaukee drill, which has a full five year warranty right out of the box. Um, you can buy a Makita DeWalt with a three year warranty. You're paying kind of that same price. For I would say you can probably get you know one of the top brands, arguably better than one of than the Bauer brand, for about the same price. And I'm not having to, of course, you know, stack in that warranty. Um, I'm gonna be able to find other tools for this lineup very, very easily because it's not just available at Harbor Freight. Um, all those brands I mentioned, Makita, Milwaukee, Dewalt, I can buy it other other than just one store. They're available at other places. I can pick up more tools. And they also have a much larger line than the Bauer line as well, too. So it's not like it, for these tool companies, they have to offer something that gives me a reason to buy them over another brand, whether it's the warranty, whether it's the selection of tools, whether it's the value. You got to give me something there. And a lot of the stuff from Harbor Freight, they really don't have something unique there. Now, I did do a video um, not too long ago about what Harbor Freight should have done with their tool lines that they could have done that was would be super unique is that give me one battery line, maybe even two, like give me like a 12 volt, a 20 volt, and let's say like a 60 volt line and give it to me so it'll be through all of these tools. Like don't give me, you can, you can still do a, a good, better, best, but give it to me like all in one line. I want, you know, three battery lines and that's gonna power all your tools forever going forward. Think of like a Ryobi there. That'd be a really, really cool solution for Harbor Freight. And I would definitely buy into some Harbor Freight power tools at that point, knowing that, hey, this tool, this battery is going to be supported uh, almost indefinitely. So if I lo if this battery dies on me, I can know that I can walk into a Harbor Freight store, buy another battery, and I know that this will still work with my current tool. Um, I'm not going to be worried about them changing lines. Um, because even before Atlas, they had a brand called Lynx. And that was their previous outdoor power tool line. And if you didn't know, they do have outdoor power tools for Bauer, but I'm pretty sure they don't have them for Hercules. And Hercules is kind of like their top tier, where Bauer is kind of their lower to mid-range brand. And then Atlas is kind of their outdoor line, where I'd much rather have just one line of batteries for all of my tools. Um, that's kind of what I do now. I just kind of stick with one line if possible for my you know, regular recorded tool, like my drill impacts, plus my outdoor power tools. I don't like to break into new lines. So that's kind of where I'm at with a lot of the um, outdoor power tool lines and, you know, just the Harbor Freight lines in general. Um, so let's check out some of these. Uh, and I clicked on the link here. So we're seeing some other options. Uh, I want to see if there's any other things here to look at. I don't see anything else here. All right, let's get into some of the coupons here from Harbor Freight. So as I mentioned, we already talked about the first four coupons up here. Not a big deal, you know, pretty standard stuff. Uh, we got into some, you know, hand carts. And what, what we notice if we, I'm not going to go through every one of these coupons, but if you notice, if I scroll through this stuff, you know, we don't see any of like their top brands. Um, you know, here's a U.S. General outlet. That's That's cool. Um, but we're not really seeing, you know, any of their top brands like Icon in here. We're seeing just a lot of the random stuff that maybe just isn't selling too well right now. Like there's a first Bauer tool there. There's Pittsburgh, not Pittsburgh Pro, just Pittsburgh there. Here we've got the Daytona Creeper. Um, but, you know, a lot of it's just random stuff. I got like a pressure washer, quick connect nozzle kit. It's not really anything that I would need to buy, or if I need it, I've already bought a better brand of it. Um, that's just kind of the problem right now that I see in a lot of this stuff here. Uh, maybe if you need like a socket set, a really small one, half inch, that's a great deal there. But a lot of this stuff is kind of just more random stuff here. Um, you know, a bench grinder, I can shop on Amazon super easy. I can shop at Home Depot or Lowe's really easily. Um, a lot of the stuff is easily shoppable. So the coupons you definitely take with a grain of salt and it's hard to tell is this bottle jack here, it was it really $60 with before this coupon or was it maybe like 49? It, it's hard to tell sometimes with Harbor Freight exactly what's happening um, with the pricing. So 
coupons, I don't even look through these anymore. You know, I, I just go to Home Depot or Lowe's and I can find the deals I want by going online um, and just searching for what I want. Um, having to actually shop a coupon is kind of annoying. Um, it's kind of just, it is what it is when it comes to the coupons. It's really just not my thing. Um, when it comes to Harbor Freight, I wish they would just kind of give me the best price on the stuff and we would go from there. So that'd be, that'd make it a lot easier. Now I will say there are some brands that I absolutely love from Harbor Freight and I do still buy. Um, one of those is actually Doyle and Doyle is a very, very similar brand to, uh, Nipex. Um, I'm sure you've probably heard of Nipex. They're a very, very popular brand of, uh, hand tools and pliers, uh, most commonly, uh, but you know, of course, they're quite expensive. Um, so I've actually bought a number of the Doyle brand stuff. I got some of their um, diagonal crimpers right here, um, and I buy them when I get like that twenty or twenty-five percent off coupon. That really counts towards everything, so I can get a decent deal on some of the Doyle stuff. Um, I've got a lot. I'd say most of my pliers now are either Doyle or Husky. I think I've got a few Cobalt thrown in there as well too. Uh, but they make some absolutely amazing pliers. Uh, big fan of the stuff. They do have some stuff that's very similar to Milwaukee. On the other page there, if I saw that um, little knife there, very similar to Milwaukee, it looks almost identical. Um, but a lot of these pliers, you know, they're very similar to Nipex. Um, and I've never had an issue with these pliers at all. I haven't broken any. Um, and they've been actually excellent. Uh, like an 8-inch uh, groove joint pliers here is only 10 bucks. Not a bad deal at all. So a lot of good deals here um, from Doyle. Usually one of my favorite brands, I'm afraid, that they've kind of come up with in the, in, uh, the recent times. Um, add to that, Icon. Now, some, of, some people don't like Icon. You know, it's, Icon is interesting because it's pushing in a direction where Harbor Freight is not known to push. Uh, Harbor Freight's been pushing, of course, up market recently. They're trying to become, I don't know if I want to say, they're trying to become like a new tool truck or a two truck brand. It's kind of what they're going for. Um, and it's not a bad thing. You know, I, I like getting great deals on some of the, um, you know, higher end stuff like from Icon. Um, I wouldn't say it's, I gotta be careful what I say here. It's not going to be, you know, snap on quality. In my opinion, I think it works just the same. I, I've used both. Um, but Icon is definitely fantastic. It, it works just great. Um, you know, the pricing is, for me, the pricing on these tools is going to be, if I broke something, you know, I, say I broke a couple sockets, I'm going to go and buy the Icon sockets now because they are absolutely phenomenal. Um, I have yet to break anything Icon. Uh, I've got a few Icon wrenches. I've got some Icon sockets now. Uh, I've got the Icon little razor scraper. I think it's like 20 bucks, 15 bucks at Harbor Freight. It's absolutely awesome. So everything I've used from Icon so far has definitely been very, very high quality. Definitely well worth it. But yes, it is going to be expensive for Harbor Freight. But if you compare this stuff, of course, to like Snap-on, Matco, um, it's definitely going to be a nice bargain to get. So that's where Icon kind of sits in. And I see where people are don't like it because, you know, Harbor Freight's known for their cheaper stuff. And it is a little confusing, too, where, you know, you can buy a 3 8 inch socket set at Harbor Freight for way cheaper than this. You can buy the Pittsburgh set. That's always an option. And they both have lifetime warranties. So it does, it does be a little bit confusing there. Why would I buy the more expensive set? They both have the exact same warranties. And that's kind of going to be up to you. Um, but, you know, if you're out in the field or somewhere where you can't get that warranty, you need to finish that job, that's something like the icons that would come in there, having that little better quality. And, you know, I wouldn't say everything Icon is well worth the buy, but for stuff that you say, like, if you're breaking, you know, socket extensions, here's an example, um, you know, just buy the Icon set, and they're going to be a much higher quality. You're probably not going to break them as much, and, of course, still lifetime warranty, um, but it's going to be that investment's going to save you that time of having to go back and warranty out those tools, and it's all just going to be a better experience then. So let's move on to the final one. Um, moving on to Quinn here. And Quinn has some really cool stuff. Um, they've got this uh, scissor, th scissor set three-piece. This is lifetime warranty too, by the way. So um, I love so tools that are lifetime warranty, but these scissors, a lot of like, you know, kitchen scissors, scissors you buy for your house, they're not lifetime warranty. They're often maybe like one year warranty at the best. And they're often kind of expensive too. So being able to pick up stuff like this is absolutely phenomenal. Um, I did want to pick up this set, but it was never in stock when I was shopping for a screwdriver set. So I ended up picking up the Milwaukee set instead. Um, but I've heard this about this set as well too. 
And of course, you know, Quinn is going to be on the more mechanic side, I believe. It, it's really confusing. I want to get into that a little bit too. Um, about Harbor Freight is really blurring the lines between. They, they had a big thing where they want to do their good, better, and best. Well, in some of their stuff now, there's like five different brands. Like if we were to go to Sockets um, or even like Pliers, I mean, you can literally buy a Pittsburgh, Pittsburgh Pro. I think Quinn would be the next level up. Then you've got Doyle, and then you've got Icon. So, I mean, there's literally like five different types of tools that are all the same in Harbor Freight. It gets really confusing. I'm not exactly sure what they're doing with that exactly. Um, there's just so many options in Harbor Freight. It's kind of like they're muddying the waters of their own brands there by having so many options. Not that's necessarily a bad thing to have plenty of price points, but, you know, we don't really need five. It'd be great if we had that good, better, best that's been well known for quite a while, and that would kind of work great. Um, you're just having so many options, you know, Quinn, Icon, Pittsburgh, Pittsburgh Pro. There's just, yeah, there's a lot there to look at and a lot there to figure out as well, too. So look at some more of the Quinn stuff. You know, they've got the digital torque adapters. You've probably seen those on other um, YouTubers' channels where they test out um, like drills and stuff to test how much torque they have. Um, I might pick one of those up in the future and maybe do some testing like that as well too. Um, and then of course, we've got you know wrench and some Quinn. Of course, uh, we've got some you know other just like socket stuff. Oh, they actually had a digital caliper on there now too. That's pretty cool. You know, Harbor Freight is now coming out with stuff. Um, just all the time. Um, if we go up here to new tools, um, I, I'm, a, I'm on the email list for Harbor Freight, and man, they come up with new tools just like every week. Um, it makes me wonder almost what they're doing with the stores because you can't have infinitely new tools. Are they getting rid of old stuff that's not selling? Um, or are they going to keep, you know, making more and more and more space in these stores for these tools? So, great question there. Uh, but guys, hope you enjoyed the video. Kind of want to cover a bunch of different points of this video um, when it comes to Harbor Freight and kind of what my thoughts are on Harbor Freight as of this point now. Um, so that's kind of all I've got for you today. Uh, Harbor Freight, you know, definitely worth checking out. They got some good stuff and they've got some questionable stuff, of course, still too. So uh, don't forget to like and subscribe, guys. Take care and have a great day.